got some, uh, we got some traveling to do this week, huh? Indeed. Ankerson down, James German and Scott five on the floor to begin the second half of action. And Gurgis down the basketball, gets a little pick up top. Comes from left to right, sets it back behind him. Nathan Scott with it, it's going to turn from nice. 17 hey, feet away. Scott. That's a nice mid-range jumper for this guy. Boy, he's got a nice, smooth stroke. You know what I mean? I really like Nathan Scott. That outside shot, he hit the three, he can come mid-range as well. Under control, good job. 20 points the difference in this one. 48-28, NIU in the paint. Bounce pass, that's tough up in the air, but Rockford's going to kick it back out of there. Regents will turn off of the right side. That jumper's rolled off, not quite down. And the rebound belongs to Northern Illinois. Huskies coming to the front court. Trying to step down the paint. And Scott delivers outside again to get a look from three. Oh, that's right. Trenton Hankerson. It'll be Trenton Hankerson. Hankerson had the deuce in the opening half. He's got five of the ball game now. 51-28. Northern beginning to pull away a little bit more now. From the five line, high arcing switch. Brandon Emrick. Just can't shake this guy. He's, he's tough. 18 he's tough. points in the first half, and now he's got 20. 51 to 30. I really like him, Bill. He's, he, yeah, he's, he's a, a small guy. guard, but it doesn't matter. He's playing big today. Gino's going to try to answer with a long range three. Doesn't get it. Huskies, the offensive rebound. Lacey James to come back outside again. And another triple this time. Off the 10 side from Trenton Hankerson. And Hankerson, you know, has to show that he can continue to hit that great feed out the post to Lacey James. And Hankerson stepped right in and knocked it down. Well, you know, he's, his career high is nine. He's hit that plateau twice, and he's got eight points right now. A lot of this game left to be played. Rockford trying to bounce it into the paint. Can't do it. It gets kicked out of there. It was last touched by one of the regents. Jamar Rivera tried to track it down in the corner. Good up with it. And NIU will take it back from our left to our right. 18-minute mark for this game here in DeKalb. Passing right there. Here's Gurgis down. Dow, the little give and go. Dow's going to drop it down to Lacey James. Lacey oh, James rolls it up on the rim. What a fall wow. off to the right side, but it doesn't to Lacey James. His first two of the contest. You can tell the Huskies are trying to really get him into the flow of this game. So, you know, we're going to need him down down as the season goes along. That's an NBA three. Yeah, doesn't even touch was. the rim from Brandon Embrick. The ball... Deflecting out of bounds in that little bit of a scramble after that big shot. The air ball. Clipping one of the Huskies and uh, giving it back to Rockford. They have 13 on the shot clock to work with here. 17 and a half. Inbounds quickly. A low left. And there's Rivera. Two of the contest for Jamar. 56 to 32 Northern. Trenton Hankerson. Watched over by Ashton Singleton. Gurgis now has the bomb. Step or two off the three-point arc. They have to really struggle to see that three-point arc now. Into the uh, dark gray area of the uh, the floor. And Bob had to go down towards uh, the low post. A couple of Huskies hit the deck. And you got the foul. It's going to be Rivera. Should be number three on him. And team foul number one against Rock the second half. Here's Lacey James down with the bucket just a moment ago. Has a chance with a couple of free throws to uh, jack on a few points. Next to his man, first one is down. Rockford has Addison Bold coming back in. One more for Lacey James. Measures it. Nice release. And yeah, pushes it. Good. As soon as it left his fingertips, you could tell that one was going where it was supposed to. Yeah. 58 32. And he pretty much has blown this thing open at the Convocation Center. A little bit of a different attitude, a little bit of a just a different to giddy up go on, oh, I might say. Yep. What we're seeing from the Huskies here. Here's Ember, turns, got into some traffic. Just a soft touch, though, as he turns, gets the ball away and scores it. He's having a day, you know? He really is. Ebert now with, uh, with 22 of the game for Rockford. 58-34. Outside, Lacey James will try to triple and Lacey James. Triple the three. Or Lacey James, seven points down. Well, he had to get going. Three and a half minutes of the second half. He, we needed him to stay in and just get a feel for being on the basketball court. 61-34. 
reach into the paint. They try to come out of the paint. Down towards the corner, right side. That triple try is not going to get down. And the whistle sounding. Lacey James now has number three. I'm not sure Lacey needs to follow the rebound. I mean, he's, he's to, you know, I, I think uh, I, I want. I'd like to see the replay. I haven't seen it as yet, but I think that was just more incidental contact. Yeah, maybe so. And Rockford, uh, the guy just fell down. Kevante Shaw is back in the the Rockford lineup. Twenty-one is Vincent Eugene. Goes to the near side. Singleton's going to come off the near side. Sends it across the way right. Now little spin move to get to the bucket. That shot looked like it might have been partially blocked. And picked up in the corner by Northern. Back will come the Huskies. And here's German with it. German little stutter step. German trying to get something to happen off balance. And the whistle against Rockford. Gina was at the line for Northern. Has a couple of free throws to come his way and misses the first one. It's off towards the left hand side. Gino will get another one. Second one is good. 18 points with the first half. That's point number 19 in the ball game. 62 to 34, 28 points. The difference. In the Convocation Center this afternoon, ball slips through the hands of one of the regions. Kevante Shars to go back after it. Find the open man, top side, right side. Chopper from three, no good. Regents get the rebound. They reset it up top, and here's Vincent Eugene. Comes to the near side. Kevante Shaw, they go back across the way. Shaw's pass is going to wind up out of bounds. Huskies have it back, 15-20 on the clock. It's pretty much a matter now of uh, what Bondi wants to do with his club, what kind of combinations he wants to see, how long he wants uh, each of his players out there. I mean, rest is certainly going to be something that's not in the back of his mind, it's in the forefront of his mind. As you mentioned before, given the fact they're right back at it Monday night here. Nice they go move. down low. Nice move. Just a oh, nice yeah. little turnaround. Eden Gold, his first couple of points. Gino with the block there. That's a block and a half where that one landed. <laughs> that last time out for the second half, MIU was shooting three out of four from three point country, 75% out that way. Rockford wasn't so bad that last time out there, 43%, three out of seven. Regis, the inbounds. Emmerich with it. I see exactly what Bonnie was talking about when he said he really liked Emmerich at his game. Emmerich for just the uh, the catch and the three, if you would. You know, the thing that, that you know, I'm not going to say scares me, but tr troubles me is that this kid, you know, here at Rockford is a good player, but the Huskies going to see better guards than him and got to do a better job well, of defending. I'm getting to believe the point. Missed and then the, the rebound and went right back up and good. I thought that was Keenan Cole that had the uh, the putback. And you've got one of the uh, one of the Rockford regions down that's at the Emmer. other end of the floor. Emmer's yeah, it looks down. like it would be Emmer. That that could be a huge loss for them. Not necessarily this game. It's already kind of out of place. But yeah, you know, this kid here can really play, and he's kind of hobbling off. I don't know if it's his knee or ankle. But yeah, I mean, you hate to see that. This kid he's putting absolutely no weight on that leg. I mean, none whatsoever. He just kind of collapsed behind the bench. Not, not collapsed in that sense, but just went down yeah, and then got a frustration more than anything else. Yeah, kids playing really well. And, you know, not necessarily for this game, but as this season moves on for Rockford, you know that's a kid that they're going to need on their team. 66-37. I've got Keenan Cole with that last putback. Give him four points, but our monitor does not agree just yet. We'll wait to see if they catch up with that. To the bucket and the lay it up and good. Nathaniel Sheed averages 21 and a half points per game. He's come off of the bench twice down this contest. Those are points number one and two for him. Yeah, he's been very quiet. I was, I was expecting him to. Uh, he's only had 11 minutes worth of I'm action. I'm not sure too. what's going on there. 
I don't believe Rockford plays until later on in the week. I think maybe Tuesday or Wednesday without looking at their schedule. Eugene German step back from three. No good. Rebound. Boy, high in the air. Banking and trying to get that one to go. Is going to be Darius Bean, but could not quite find the right spot on the backboard, but Rockford will commit the foul. Vincent Eugene, that's his third. third two Vincent five. Eugene, Darius Bean foul number five. three for him. And the free throw, that is good. That was a rope there. That's good to get yep. over the front. Take I mean, you've got to have that thing measured absolutely <laughs> perfectly to get that thing to work. Well, that's his third free throw. He has three points all together after the, the 12th spot yesterday against Coppin State. Next one is in the air, and the next one. That yeah, was better. A little more arc there. 68-39. The NIU lead. 29 points. The difference of this one. Cody Rapano is in that Rockford lineup now. And the Regents. Little triple from uh, the outside. Actually, just the deuce. Huskies trying to get that one up on the rim. Can't do it. Loose ball, Rock. Rebound just came off funny. And back will come the Regents. Trying to push this one underneath. They were trying to lead Addison Bode, but too much of a lead. So you've got back-to-back -back turnovers in the span of what, maybe five, six seconds? Yeah. Getting a little sloppy here. And that's the thing about a game like this, Bill, just under the 13-minute mark. You don't want to see injuries. You don't want to see guys start getting out of what you're trying to do. Work the shot clock. Try to keep getting better as a team and as a unit. Huskies across the way. Eugene German kicks it outside. Bean nice and down the lane. Dribble drive nicely done for Cochran. Cochran with half a dozen points. Three buckets for Tyler, freshman from Bolingbrook, Illinois. 70-41 at NIU. On the wing, Rapato. Open look. This triple is going to come off a little bit too heavy. NIU the rebound. Back to the front court once again. Nice feed, Bean and Trying to step down the lane with a pass coming right to chest high pass was Keenan Cole and Cole took a little bit of a bump from Nathaniel Sheed. Will pick up the foul. First against him, number four in the game against Rockford in the second half. That's one thing the Zips have done much better. They've, they've kept themselves under control. They, they've not put NIU to the free throw line as much, nearly as much in the second half. Keenan Cole's free throw good. You know, Keenan Cole's come off the bench, Bill, and really playing solid here. You know, nice big body uh, freshman here and has a couple of good moves inside, making his first free throw here. Next one, ball, that's a right. I had to mention that, didn't you? And I like his jersey number as well. Addison Bodie. <laughs> didn't he retire that number? No, they had retired it. Traveling goal. Jaleel Stevens. And you can see the, uh, I wouldn't call it fatigue, but you, you can see that Rockford has lost a, oh, yeah. you know, half a step or so, and you've got a lot of new numbers that are in there. Well, not a lot of, but you've got numbers that you haven't seen that much of so far in this game. Jeremy Regal beginning to substitute a little more frequently, I think. Darius Bean, Trenton Hankerson, back to Noah McCarty. McCarty, but a big guy can dribble. We've seen that over the years. Has to bounce it low. Now Cole leans in, got it to spin the side of the rim. Well, that's a tough shot for Keenan Cole. Eventually spun out of there. Rockford came away with the rebound. And here come the Regents for the basketball. Grappato turns a little shuffle pass back the other way. The traveling Cole against Addison Bowie. And we have done a nice job that way. They've kicked it up defensively. Against Rockford from three, they've held the Regents to one of five shooting from outside of the arc of this half. Yeah, what you want to do is get into an up and down game and just fire up threes. As Huskies have been pretty disciplined on the offensive end. Regents have a player down at Rockford with control of the basketball. The Huskies try to alley-oop it in the paint. There was a collision. The ball came. And 
that's good to see him yeah. dance. If they retaped him or what over yeah, there. I mean, there was something with the leg. You know, it could have been a cramp also. It's true. He's been out there a lot of minutes, and can't say he hasn't given his all today. So the Regents get to win by with 20 seconds on the clock, and their give towards the corner is going to go out of bounds. Slipped away from Jaleel Stevens. Huskies back into the front court with that 30-point lead, 71-41. We're inside the 11 minute mark. Looking at 10 50 to count for this one. Here are the complications set. Left of the lane, trying to back his way. And now they skip it across and looking to go to Noah McCarty, but no chance. No chance on that one. Good idea from Yeah, uh, oh, no yeah, question. Goal. You know, you want to see the bigs when you get doubled to be able to kick out. Got to get used to making that pass. You know, McCarty was open there. You know, there's there's that 10, 15 percent uh, that you know worth of a need that's still worth of a ankle still bothering Noah because he just sure. couldn't, yeah, he he could make, yeah. couldn't make agree. the move to try to get to that yeah. hole. But you got to play through that, and uh, you got to get some minutes. You got to get your yeah, back. Got to get him out there. Ball had gone out of bounds. Rockford is going to keep it once again. They get that thing inbounded, and they work off of the right hand side. Rapato. Now the drive underneath. Jill Evans could not get that to go. Northern controls the rebound. Hankerson. Sideline to sideline pass. And a great open look for three. Tyler Cochran in transition. His first try of the ball game. He's got nine points. Underneath, little bank shot that's down. That's Rivera. Points number three and four for Jamar. 74-43, 31 points of difference. Arius Means is going to send it towards the left-hand side. Huskies into the paint. Noah McCarty spun it, got it on the glass, missed it. Rebound's going to come out long. And IU finally controls it. McCarty in the corner. Try to shot underneath. Ball deflected, knocked away, and Rockford with a steal. Length of the floor and try to lift that one up in the air. As Cody Rapato couldn't get it. Instead, NIU is going to pick up the loose ball. It is of the wrist. Tyler Cochran down the lane. Little flick of the wrist. Darius Bean winds up with the ball. And Darius Bean winds up with the butt. Give Cochran a big assist. Capital A of that yeah, assist. That nice. Very nice play. 76 to 43. They measure that long three. And that one's going to come apart. Yes, Brandon Emmerich did pull the trigger from three. Doesn't quite look the same. Husky triple drive. And count the bucket for Trenton Hankerson. And Rockford Kevante Shaw with foul number three against him. And Trenton Hankerson, chance for the old fashioned three point play. He's got what, three, six? Seven, eight, yeah. yeah that's your new career high for Troy to Dankerson. It is. Uh, he hit nine. Hasn't missed a shot today either. And that's good. Four, four field goal, two, two from three, and now one and one from the free throw line. Three rebounds, three assists. Pretty uh, solid uh, floor game for Trenton. Got a block, he's got a steal, yeah. and all that, and something like 20 miles. Yeah. Hanks, good afternoon. Could be a good candidate for player of the game. Robert trying to fire that one up out of the corner. I think it was Emmerich that pulled the trigger, missed that one. This game's pretty much out of control. And NIU pretty much doing what they, they want to do. And you get a jump ball here. Tyler Corcoran was working with a dribble and somebody in the uh, the purple and black for the Regents just got a hand at that ball ever so slight. It's another quick whistle on the uh, on the elbow. Eight minutes, 27 seconds with the clock running. 79-43, it's NIU. Rockford, they swing the pass towards Nathaniel Sheet. I thought Sheet would play a larger role in this game. Outside, well, right at his recovered. Must be feeling okay. <laughs> three-point try, and he fell down after that three-point try. That was towards the left-hand corner. 79-46. 
33 points the difference. I think the largest lead that I used has been 36 just a moment ago. Here's Tyler Cochran. Squares from three, no good with that shot. Missed it wide left. Easy rebound. Jamar Rivera. Nobody to really bother him on that thing. Regent set it up front court now. They swing it back right to left. Winds up in the hands of Justin Kidd. Kidd delivers back. And from the wing on the left side, that jumper's up and good. 79-48. Two more. Outside, long triple, Huskies. Not there, but you know, which way is this whistle going to go here? A rebound. Boundaries, NIU business, visit cob.niu.edu. One sided affair this afternoon in the complication center. There's the slow effort from Rockford. They pick away the pass from George Stow up top, and the Regents back quickly, but the Oskis able to cover and tap the ball out of bounds. So Rockford will keep it, and there's the seven minute mark for this one. Rockford, they walk it to the wing, to the right side. Emmerich's going to take it back, top side left. They go to the corner. That triple is not good to get out. They got Nathaniel Schiff with the effort. And here come the NIU Huskies on the right side. A lot of different combinations in the second half, without question. Skip pass is going to come way out on top. They've got 10 seconds to work with. Rod Henry Hayes with it. Henry Hayes, right baseline, floats that one. Off of the bark, no good. Rebound is going to come out high and gobbled up by NIU. They fish this one low, and there's Gurgis down. Missed the bunny underneath. Tap is not going to get down there. Rockford Fox clears away the boards. Well, they had a couple of good looks at it, Ronnie, but nothing would, uh, would drop home. On the near side, they get a look from three. Brandon Emmerich does carry that one into the hole. One and done is him. Huskies back in transition. And Gurgis down gets the lock to the weak side. And Gurgis down with second bucket, four points. Yeah, good pass there. 81 to 48. Where'd that all come from? That's uh, right Henry Hayes. Picked one up. Picked it up in transition, evidently. 550 inning, just the second team foul against NIU in the second half of action. Just hold the trigger once again, no good from Shed. NIU the rebound. And NIU getting to the point now, they're just going to take their sweet time, I think, with the, the shot clock. They have the commanding lead. Rod Henry Hayes, now Cochran. They get it low and trying to just twist his way. They get the ball off of the glass, it was going to be Chris Johnson. And Rockford's Jamar Rivera should be number four. Numbers, you know, now the foul's really meaningless at this point. It's what is an 81 48 basketball game. Two shots coming for Chris Johnson. And the first one has spun the rim down there. Yeah, Chris is really struggling at the free throw line today. Three of eight. Three of eight now, yeah. Right now. It's got a lot of energy. You like what he brings. Uh, energy-wise on the floor, he's always going to give that effort. And for that reason, he's going to find himself at the line, you know, a lot. But he's got to start making these free throws. East Rand and I missed that one. And with the rebound for Rockford comes another whistle. Look like a lane violation. Get another chance here. Don't want to go three for ten. Well, the last one didn't count. This is true. So he's back to three for eight. He don't want to go three for nine. He's already. He <laughs> he's already there. <laughs> but he made the second one. It's been a long afternoon. It's been a good afternoon to basketball. Little one-hander flicked off of the, uh, the rim from Justin Kidd is rebounded by Northern. Huskies back into the front court. And Connor Cochran nails a trip right in front of the Northern bench. Wow. Ooh, I've got Cochran with a dozen. And Rockford tried to go back quickly in transition. We'll throw the basketball away. Regents with another turnover. 5.08 left to play in this 
8448 Northern. And I'm thinking that uh, I'm thinking that Jeremy Riggle's pretty much cleaned the bench on the Rockford side of things. Anybody thought was gonna play this play? Maybe a couple that he didn't think would play. They've actually gotten out there. Or good work into the paint. Jet roll on the That's rebound of the play from Chris Johnson. It's good. That thing just, what, three times it touches the back, then touches the side. You know the look, and, and eventually it goes in, and he's going to wind up with a chance to, uh, to shoot the free throw. And go back to the free throw line. He's got a lot of energy, I tell you that. Uh, Chris Johnson's got eight points. He's got three rebounds in this game, and he's been out there a total of 12 minutes. Shed's got the foul. That one could have gone either a couple of regions that they kind of got him. Could have gone either way, but uh, they'll see it with Shed. 4.49 left to play. Chris Johnson taking a lot of time with his free throw. And doesn't get it to go. 86 to 48. Four of ten, Chris, is from the free throw line today. 38-point basketball game. You know, I give Rockford credit for staying competitive. And oh, absolutely. Still, I mean, continuing to run their their offense. A few different players in there right now, but they want to get some people some time on the floor as well. Here's the catch and the shoot from three. Somehow that's short for Brandon Emmerich. It left his finger. I thought that was going in. We had the angle on that one. Huskies into the front court. Loose basketball. Batty to bond a little bit. And as the uh, the ball gets batted about, as it winds up out of bounds, you get the whistle, and a little yeah, too aggressive. Here, baby. Yeah, a little too aggressive in trying to get to the, the ball was Tyler Cochran. That one player. So he's got the foul. That is only foul number three against NIU in this half. Well, those two good halves of basketball that Bonnie was looking for, I think he found them here today. Oh, that's true. Yeah. Oh, wow. He just forgot to triple. Yeah, I know it was the bad news. <laughs> that was one of those situations. He just... Well, he started, and he was, he was about halfway through that first step, and then he thought, wait a minute. It was a little too late to get the ball on the ground. Wow. Thank you. Go online, fnbo.com, the first national bank member, FDIC. NIU with the basketball. Tyler Cochran getting a lot of moments in the closing of moments, getting a lot of uh, minutes in the closing moments of the second half. Little miss put back. Cochran on the second try draws the whistle. Let's see if it is indeed going to be Cochran. Johnson. Johnson has his first Got him with a push from behind. Out of bounds, Husky basketball. Husky three. Henry Hayes. Henry Hayes, second try lighter of the afternoon. We may hit the century mark, Bill. Uh, 255 left to go. Stealing. Huskies with a takeaway, and well, they just didn't lift the ball over the uh, the edge of the rim far enough, and uh, Tyler Cochran missed the money. Yeah, Cochran's just got to lay that in. Stay. They shoot the three. Jaleel Stevens can't get it to go. Here comes NIU. Rod Henry Hayes delivers off to the wing. Wide open shot from three. That's not going to get down. And as the basketball works its way out of bounds, we get the whistle once again. Conklin with that miss as well. So he's all for his last two. Huskies had been on a seven up and run over the last minute, four seconds. And the Rockford scoring drive right now set two minutes and 41 seconds. 
And now you will take the inbounds. Down to the gate, Cochran penetrates near the foul line. Little flick of the wrist down to Rod Henry Hayes for the Tridider. Not there. About scooped out of the air by Justin Kidd. And here come the Regent Lions. Into the front court. Shed jump stop. Goes to the right corner. They come back outside. Long triple is going to hit the side of the rim. The Regent Lions will try it once again. Here's Justin Kidd bouncing low. Taken out by Little. Outside again, the, the triple beyond the, the arc is missing. Gurgis Dowell collecting the rebound for Red Ayu. Minute 50 to play in this one. Huskies lob it low left and a little lay it. Just over the uh, left side of the rib for Keenan Cole. And Zachary Perzawa gets his gets a mark next to his name of the book, but it's and the personal foul coming. <laughs> At least he's in the book. And the free throw, good. Okay, hold this. Cole is really he coming it confidently. Around. Yeah, very nice touch at the free throw lines. Really working on his game. You can tell he's definitely maturing as a player, young player, but he's done a lot of good things early on. 92 to 48 Huskies. Rockford, little one-hander from the paint is going to come short. They trot back quickly defensively. NIU is going to come into the hands of Rod Henry Hayes. Left side on the wing. They've got a double dribble on that. That's another one of those craps uh, that yeah. you, know, you get. Uh, just, you, know, you, you think you're squared away, and then all of a sudden, whoops. Ball is going to come back. Rockford has it. Shed now, ball tapped away from behind. Now the scramble, you get a couple of people on top of the basketball. And you have Gurgis now with the foul. Team foul number five. Justin Kidd was going to the line. The idea that he was going to get at least the one of the bonus out of this thing, but not with team foul number five, you know. Inbounds pass it away. Rod Henry Hayes ahead. Gurgis Dow, the lane of good. Dow should have a dozen. Here this one. 94 to 48. And you're inside the one minute mark. NIU will uh, even their record this afternoon at the Convocation Center. Two wins, two losses. And will welcome the Longwood Lancers into DeKalb. That'll be Monday night, 7 o'clock. Huskies the take away again on a long rebound. And as they look towards the bucket, this pass deflected away with 33 and 6 tenths seconds remaining. I'm thinking Monty's going to be in a pretty good mood this afternoon. And I believe he's going to be out pretty quick. Yeah. <laughs> you can yeah, we believe better, that. We better get to the we break pretty quick. Ready. Yes, indeed. <laughs> right. He was pretty quick last night, so I can imagine he's going to be really quick tonight. Right, Henry Hayes has it to the wing. 28 seconds remaining into the paint. Pulled up jumper. There's Keenan Cole again. Cole. 96-48. And at the other end of the floor, Rockford with Connor Harn. He tried to lock down to him. Husky's knocking it away. Reaches to inbound it. Zach Little. Looks and looks, bounces into the paint, take it back, it's right, Henry Hayes. And Henry Hayes will just peel off and they'll put the basketball out there, that center jump circle, and they'll watch the final 